Hello everyone. In this video I'll be talking with you about some very basic number concepts and uh, I'll be introducing some PowerPoint slides uh, for that presentation that I'm going to be doing on basic number concepts. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at those slides. So we're going to be talking about some basic math concepts review here and this is part one of two slides on uh, some basic math concepts review. So to start with digits. What's a digit? Well, a digit is a discrete slot in a number expression that the number will go into, such as 24. 2 is a digit and so is 4, so that makes 24 a two-digit number. In our base 10 counting system, we have 10 discrete values or characters. Those characters are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If we counted up all of those characters, it would give us a uh, numerical value of 10. So there's 10 characters there. Numbers. What's a number? Well, a number is made up of either a digit or a collection of digits. Any combination of digits you can imagine is a number. Numbers include zero, negative numbers, fractions, decimals, etc. Integers. What are integers? Integers are numbers that have no fractional or decimal part. The number zero is an integer. Positive integers increase as we go from left to right, such as zero, one, two, and three. Negative integers decrease as we go from right to left. So we're going to start at right and then we're going to go left. Zero, negative one, negative two, negative three those are decreasing from from right to left positive and negative positive numbers are more than zero negative numbers are less than zero zero is neither positive or negative therefore all numbers except for zero are either positive or negative even and odd only integers have the property of being even or odd. Fractions, decimals, and other non-integers cannot be described as even or odd. Integers that can be divided by two with a remainder of zero are even. Integers that cannot be divided by two without having a remainder of one are odd. So, on even and odd, some examples of even numbers are negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Note that positive or negative is an attribute that is independent of even or odd. Also note that 0 is included in this list. Some examples of odd numbers are negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. Properties of zero. Zero is an integer. Zero is neither positive or negative. Zero is even. Zero plus any other number is equal to that number. Zero multiplied by any other number is equal to zero. Some more properties of zero. You cannot divide by zero. Zero is a multiple of every number. And so, to summarize the non-intuitive properties, just remember that zero is an even integer that is neither positive or negative. Even and odd. Some more on that. Fractions are neither even or odd. Any integer is even if its unit's digit is even. So, for example, 3576 over 2 is equal to 1788. That's because our 6 here in our units place is even, so that makes the whole rest of the number an even number. Any integer is odd if its uh, units digit is odd. So for example, 2467 over 2 is equal to 1233, and it gives us a remainder of 1. So some more on even and odd. Properties of adding evens and odds are even plus even gives us an even. So for example, 8 plus 12 equals 20. 
8 is even, 12 is even. It equals 20, which is also even. An odd plus an odd gives us an even. So for example, 7 is an odd, plus 21 is an odd, and that gives us 28, which is an even. An even plus an odd equals an odd. So for example, 8, which is even, plus 13, which is an odd, gives us 21, which is also odd. Next, let's take a look at some properties of multiplying evens and odds. An even times an even will give us an even. For example, 22 times 4 equals 88. 22 is even, 4 is even, and it gives us a product of 88, which is also even. An odd times an odd equals an odd. For example, 5 is odd times 7 is odd gives us 35, which is odd. An even times an odd gives us an even. For example, 4 is even times 5 is odd gives us 20, which is even. Next, let's take a look at a definition for consecutive integers. Integers are consecutive when they are in increasing value without any integers missing in between them. So for example, reading from left to right, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3 are consecutive integers. They don't have any numbers missing in between them. However, you can have consecutive even integers. So for example, that can be 2, 4, 6, and 8. Now they do have numbers missing in between them, but it's specified that they be uh, even integers. So they're consecutive and they're even integers. It wouldn't be consecutive if I went from 2 to 6 to 8 because we'd be missing our 4. So you can also have consecutive odd integers. Example, 5, 7, 9, and 11. You can also have consecutive multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, and 16. So we've specified multiples of 4. So our interval in between here from 4 to 8 is 4. From 8 to 12 is 4. From 12 to 16 is 4. Why? Because they're multiples of 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. And so on. However, fractions and decimals cannot be consecutive. Only integers can be consecutive. So, formally speaking, uh, this is the definition of uh, consecutive numbers. Absolute value. The absolute value of a number is defined as the distance of a number from zero on the number line. So therefore, absolute value is always positive. This is true for negative numbers. For example, the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So if we had a algebraic expression inside of these absolute value bars and it resulted in 2, uh, then it would have an absolute value of 2, which is defined as the distance of that number from 0 on the number line. So that'll be the end of the material for this uh, basic math concepts review on part one. And then we'll get into part two in the next uh, uh, slide presentation. And as always, practice, because practice will help you become more fluent with the material. Thank you for watching this video on basic number concepts. Uh, hopefully it helps you build more of your intuition with numbers in general. Uh, thank you again for watching and have a nice day.